The minority leader in parliament and MP for Tamale South constituency, Haruna Idrisu, has appealed to the Ministry of Roads and Highways to conduct a structural audit of the performance of the contractor on the Tamale Interchange Project to guarantee value for money. The minority leader revealed that the nature of design has increased congestion on the roads within the metropolis. Northern Regional Correspondent Noah Nash has more in the floor report. The 46 million Tamale interchange project, which commenced in April 2019, was undertaken by the government of Ghana to reduce the vehicular traffic within the Tamale metropolis due to increase in population. Even though the project is yet to be completed, residents are complaining of vehicular traffic that has been caused in the implementation of the design by the contractor. Addressing the media in Tamale after inspection of the project, the minority leader Haruna Idrisu called for a structural audit of the project to ensure value for money. By November 2021, government should have handed over these projects. We are in March 2022. Therefore, we do not accept the delays in the execution and completion of the project. I'm calling on the supervising consultant, the Minister of Roads and Highways, and the Department of Urban Roads to undertake a structural audit of the performance of the contractor. He further expressed worry over the congestion, calling for demolition of marked structures to help widen the road. What will be the purpose of the use if you find congestion and traffic around this area after the project is completed and handed over? The people in and around what F here, from Ambassador's home to what F, to the Genfong, are also not particularly satisfied with the quality of the drainage work that has been done. You saw the width of the concrete size here. We have seen other projects ongoing. You can compare what's going on here to what is happening at Obechibi Lamte Circle project. 